Hey guys, it's Tay. Welcome back to my channel. I just want to say before we go on, if you're not subscribed already, click that subscribe button below. Also, click the notification button so you're notified every time I upload a new video. This video is going to be a new segment here on my channel, New Makeup Mondays. And what I'm going to be doing is every Monday I'm going to be making a video about new makeup products that either just dropped or that's going to drop. So it's basically like makeup news. My clipboard is back and I just wrote down a bunch of stuff that's new coming out. I did a lot of research and I put a lot of time into this. Yes. But anyway, let's get on. Hi guys, so today's actually the day after. I filmed this video I just wanted to come in and say thank you so much to trend mood for allowing me to post these pictures in my video I actually got all the pictures in this video from their page they are the main source I go to to see about makeup news so definitely go follow them if you want to know about new launches enjoy the video thanks guys so the first thing on my list is the new Milk Makeup Blur Spray. Now, if you guys don't know, Milk Makeup came out with a blur stick. It kind of looks like a deodorant stick, but basically you use it to prime before your makeup or on top of your makeup, on top of your foundation, I'm, I think. And basically it's supposed to blur out your skin and make everything look nice and smooth. I've seen a lot of reviews on it and people either love it or hate it but anyway they came out with a milk makeup blur spray this launches on may 2nd it's supposed to blur your imperfections you can use it as a setting spray and it's supposed to be mattifying and that'll be great for oily skin people during the summertime you know the hotter months are coming up and while you're out you'll probably get a little oily and want to like mattify your face I don't know how much it retails for right now, but I know it is vegan. So for the vegan people out there, you got a setting spray. I am so excited for this. Like, guys, like, guys, like, what? This is the Becca and Chrissy Teigen collaboration. Are you kidding me? I love Chrissy Teigen. Like, who doesn't love Chrissy? ChrissyTeigen.com. Like, I'm Chrissy Teigen. I'm, like, Team Chrissy Teigen, okay? I love her. If you guys don't know, she's a very well-known supermodel. And um, she's married to John Legend, who I also love. They're collaborating and making a palette. This palette has one rose gold shimmering skin perfector. And that's already been in the Becca line. That's just added to the palette because that is Chrissy's favorite shimmering skin perfector. But she also made a new shade of um, shimmering skin perfector. And that's also going to be in the palette. It's called Beach Nectar. It's also going to be a new shade of the Sunlit Bronzer in Malibu. And there's going to be a new Luminous Blush shade in the shade Hibiscus Bloom. Now, I'm very excited for this palette because I feel like this can, this really has the potential to be brown girl friendly. Now, I'm not sure about the bronzer, but you can always use bronzer as an eyeshadow. Plus, it's a very little bronzer, so like, whatever. I'm excited about the blush because I feel like the blush will look nice on brown skin tones and the highlighter. Since it's kind of like a champagne-y gold and pink type highlighter and I really like those type of highlighters. This is launching for $46 and I'm not sure of the date but I know it's coming pretty soon so definitely keep an eye out for that. Now the next thing I want to talk about is the ColourPop Blotted Lip Collection. Now this has already dropped. I just really like this and I really wish I would have waited because if you guys don't know, if you guys haven't seen my latest video, I actually bought the Phase 3 lip collection and I don't like it. Like, it's very light. Like, it's all light, light nudes that I probably would not wear. These shades of the Blotted Lip Collections look very rich. Most of them are deep shades. They do have some nudes, but the, even the nudes are, like, more brownie, pinky, reddish nudes. You know what I mean? So I feel like they will be very flattering on brown skin. It came out with two different formulas of it. So one of them is an ultra blotted lip and one of them is a regular blotted lip. Now the regular blotted lip is in the regular like lippies packaging and the ultra blotted lip is like in the ultra matte. You know the ultra matte the liquid lipsticks they have in that type of packaging. The blotted lips are supposed to be very sheer kind of like a wash of color kind of like a lip stain type thing and it's for the trend of um, something that's very popular in like the Asian beauty market right now, basically when you put 
a very pigmented color of lipstick in the middle and kind of fade it out towards the um, outside of your lips. The Ultra Blotted Lip retails for $6 and the regular Blotted Lip retails for $5. There are eight shades and they look pretty promising, guys. I might have to order me some. So the next thing that caught my eye is the new Too Faced Born This Way Loose Powder. Loose powders are like hit and miss. People either hate them or love them. This one I'm really excited for because it's from Too Faced and I've heard good things about their Born This Way foundation. This is a late launch though. This is launching fall of 2017. But... I think people will be pretty excited for this. This will retail for $32. This is something I'm so excited for, guys, because if you guys don't know, my whole thing is cherry blossoms. I love Japanese cherry blossoms. If you know anything about me, you know I love Japanese cherry blossoms. I love the way they smell. I think they're beautiful. I just... And Tatcha is coming out with the Cherry Blossom Trio. And basically what this is, is a kind of like a lip balm. It's actually pink with some flex through it. Deep pink nude lipstick. This nude lipstick looks very universal. Like it looks deep. It's a deep pink that can be flattering on brown skin tones and deeper skin tones. But it's also not that deep to where it would look vampy on lighter or fair skin tones like it looks very nice and they also have a lip liner which is more like a deep mauve kind of lip liner but this looks very promising and it's like in cute baby pink packaging and i love baby pink like who doesn't i hope it smells like that though and i wish they would have came out with like a cherry blossom spray because like that would have just been perfect i'm not sure how much this will retail for but i will tell you that Tatcha is an expensive makeup brand. So. so the last thing I have to talk about this week is a collection from MAC Cosmetics and it is the Fruity Juicy Collection. I feel like that's a perfect name actually for this collection because it's so much vibrant tones. It's not boring at all. It's very out there. This collection has four lipsticks, four lip glasses, three eyeshadow palettes, one prep and prime fix plus spray, and that one is supposed to be coconut scented and I'm very excited for that because like who doesn't love coconut scented stuff. Three bronzing powders, two lust drops, which, and four makeup brushes. Now this line is supposed to be dropping like May slash June. So I'm thinking like late May, probably early June. I feel like this is what I'm going to splurge on as a birthday present to myself. If you guys don't know, my birthday is May 26th. I will be turning 20 this year. I will be a grown woman. <laughs> this collection looks very promising. Like, it's very vibrant colors. The palettes look very interesting. Like, they are not boring at all. The packaging alone looks fantastic. It reminds me of Japanese artwork. Um, or like, you know those bombers that everyone are getting with the like, um, flowers and stuff all over them? With the colorful flowers and stuff? That's what it's reminding me of. But the packaging alone looks so beautiful to have on like your vanity or something like that. So. so that is all for this week's new Makeup Monday. I really hope you guys enjoy. Comment below if you guys are interested in anything I just mentioned. Thank you guys so much for watching and see you guys next time.